Hello everyone, my name is Gonçalo Pereira, I am from Portugal and I'm the owner of the Dart Geckos project. Dart Geckos project is a project of selectively bred leopard geckos and poison dart frogs. We started our project in 2011 and our goal is to provide high quality animals. This is our rack system for leopard geckos. The adult ones, then we have this small um, rack for the, the younger and the edge things. That rack is empty now that the season uh, is starting, we should have our first eggs soon. We currently are working with um, a white and yellow Tramper Albino Morph. We have these beautiful Trampers with this nice orange. Last season we got our first white and yellow Max No Tramper Albino from our white and yellow Tramper Albino project. This season I'm preparing our white and yellow tangerine project. This is a white and yellow tangerine from the Afghanikush line. This is a female. She has a nice uh, orange for the white and yellow gecko. And we have this one that's not a white and yellow one. It's just a uh, tangerine um, from the Afghanicus line. This one is a special project that I don't know if uh, I will get eggs from her this season as I don't have a male ready now. She's uh, white and yellow, bold from uh, our um, bold line. We didn't expect her for from last season, but it's nice to get this one. We could only get one female. Now I'm looking for a, a male to get a good pairing. So the supplements we use, we use the vitamin A plus from Repashi for the, the dart frogs as a, a supplement. We use the calcium plush from Repashi 2 for the leopard geckos and for the dart frogs. And we also supplement with the Supercal High D from Repashi 2. Uh, this is just for the geckos. I use it sometimes as a a way to be sure they get the proper calcium and vitamin D3. This is a small plant nursery where we keep uh, some of our plants that we use on the terrariums. So here's where we keep the small frogs, the Renitomaeus. We have some matchlings. And that's where we keep the the Ophagus. Then we have these two enclosures with um, one with Tinctorius azurius and the other had uh, some Lecomelus 
we already sold. Here we have uh, two females of Team Tarius Azurius. They are big ones. We have some flowers on this terrarium. Which is very nice. Some Java moss too. This is our Hanitome imitator intermediate breeding group. We have two males and two females. We have here our Vanzolinis. This is the vivari of uh, of Arg at Mildu Isla Colo. We have a lot of bromeliads, some ficus on the background. We currently only have uh, one, uh, probably a female. This is another enclosure, still maturating, we don't have any frog here yet. Peperonia prostrata on the background growing really well. We don't have a lot of tadpoles now, we just have uh, this one with um, the back legs and the front legs are appearing soon. The Vaseline one and a sun imitator. This is where we keep our fruit fly cultures. We work with uh, the Wide and Melanogaster. We basically use the Melanogaster as a daily basis and uh, complement with uh, with a, we have the ones we are using and the ones that are developing. These containers have the isopods for the dark frogs. Uh, I breed the um, white, the white one, the white isopod. You can see them moving there. They are small isopods, uh, they are good for the substract. I use them uh, for food and in the substract of the, the terrarium. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our availables at dartgeekus.com, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Instagram. We are planning a series of videos, so keep checking, and till next time.